Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Going to read through the full article. There is a link in the description, of course. Just to give you a, the brief version, this involves the murder of Sarah Maguire, the lady in the picture here. And um, she was murdered. She was allegedly murdered by a couple uh, that murdered her through blunt force trauma. And um, then that couple had sex on Sarah Maguire's bed whilst they could still hear um, the struggles of Sarah Maguire as she was dying. Um, it turns out that Sarah Maguire was in a relationship with one of the two uh, in the couple. So let's have a look at the full article. An Oklahoma couple allegedly attacked a woman with a crowbar and then had sex on the woman's bed, even while they heard the victim struggle to live in her final moments. Authorities made the disturbing allegations in court documents charging 25-year-old Brinley Dennison and 28-year-old 20 year Nicholas Johnson. Um, so these two, Nicholas Johnson, Brinley Dennison, 25 years of age. Um, so they've both been charged with first-degree murder in connection with the death of 29-year-old Sarah Maguire. Investigators say Dennison and Johnson were in an intimate relationship and that Dennison, the lady, uh, was also in a relationship with Sarah Maguire. That made Nicholas Johnson jealous, so he plotted to kill Sarah Maguire. Brinley Dennison was reportedly aware of Nicholas Johnson's plans and helped plan the killing. Precise details of how the killing occurred have not been made public, but authorities say both Johnson and Dennison admitting, admitted to beating Maguire with a crowbar. So they've both admitted to having been involved in the murder, really, having uh, beaten uh, Maguire, Sarah Maguire with a crowbar. Uh, after the attack, Dennison and Johnson are said to have had sex on Sarah Maguire's bed as they heard Sarah Maguire dying. Um, here's a quote. He stated he could still hear the victim in the living room struggle to live, uh, according to court records. Police in Tulsa were called to a home on January the 4th to check on the welfare of a resident. When officers arrived, they found Sarah Maguire, who had died from blunt force trauma. Authorities determined that Maguire's, Maguire's white Dodge Charger and other personal property were missing. Law enforcement later located the vehicle with Dennison and Johnson sleeping inside of it. Johnson told police that he and Dennison stole electronic equipment and credit cards from Sarah Maguire and used them as they traveled to Arkansas. Uh, they've been charged with larceny of uh, an automobile as well as the murder charge of Sarah Maguire and they're both being held on more than a one million dollar bond. So that's good. That's good that um, they've captured the two alleged murderers. Uh, it's good that they've admitted, seemingly, they've admitted, according to this article, that they were involved with beating uh, Sarah Maguire. Um, so I can only presume that justice will take place and that these two, if found guilty, will be sentenced uh, to a very high uh, length of time a very long length of time so there's that article if you have listened all the way through thank you i do appreciate that if you're looking for a pleasant youtube community do check out a couple of the friends of this channel so at the end of the day with bella she does uh, nice live streams talking about this that and the other as does the channel kind of whatever with jenny and lottie nice chill relaxed pleasant youtube communities if that's what you're looking for just to take your mind away from these true crime events or you can have a look at my other channel white cis male um, which is political in nature so of course condolences to the family concerned of sarah maguire um, prayers and we hope that justice is served